Welcome back, you're here with Nate to Wait, and this is Crossbeats Production. So this is a little tip on how to get the VSTs that have erred or not appeared on your uh, Studio One 3 when, when it loads up. There's a thing called a blacklist which appears in Studio One 3, and all that is is basically a list of plugins that um, Studio One has decided that it can't load because of an error for whatever reason. There might be an issue with that plugin, the way you've installed the plugin or loaded it or the file folder that it's located in. Um, issues like that. So if you can sort that out first, uh, make sure that your VSTs are all located in one folder or maybe two folders that the, the Studio One 3 knows about and uh, make sure they're all installed correctly with correct serial numbers. If you're not using uh, legit stuff, I can't really help you there, but make sure you're using legit plugins that you paid for. Um, the other thing is um, obviously just make sure that everything you've done is registered correct like that. Um, but if Studio One has an issue with a plugin, uh, say for example, I've had a plugin issue with Massive where Massive didn't load for some reason, whatever, I don't know. Um, I've got no issue with the, with the serial, but now I've got it, it's loaded here. As you can see, um, so if I drop massive in there, it's right there, and it'll appear in a second. So that's massive. So anyway, um, I had somebody ask me on my channel how to uh, fix the the VST issues with with lagging VSTs. Um, lagging VSTs might be a computer issue or a software issue with that plugin. I can't help you too much on that, but what I can show is about why um, VSTs might not show on this list here. So if you keep loading it and you can't see contact or or other plugins in this list, um, this might be why. So the way that you find uh, the blacklist feature is go to your preferences, just click on preferences here. Um, this is in a Mac obviously, I'm using El Capitan and um, I'm using an iMac 27 inch. I'll show you the specs actually just briefly. Uh, this is pretty much my, my hardware here, so obviously that's the computer I'm using there. Now this is the, the section that you're looking for and it's called in, in the locations folder, if you hit locations it's VST plugins and it's got this little tab here. If you hit reset blacklist, it'll come up with an option here asking if you want to reset it. All you have to do is hit yes, it just resets it and uh, initializes the plugins again. And if you hit yes on that, obviously the next time you close this down and open it back up again, it should then find that VST if it's been missing. Obviously, if it's location wise, it's in the correct location. As you can see here, I've got contact and I think that was the issue that you had on the the, uh, not being able to find it there. So um, that's that's just a, a way to hopefully remove the issue, uh, sort it out and, and get it off the blacklist and enable basically the Studio One 3 to then see the plugin. Because what it does, it, it, it if it finds an error with the plugin, it will just keep ignoring that plugin every time you start up Studio One just to avoid it crashing or whatever. Um, so yeah, hope this help, helps you out. And uh, otherwise, if there's anything else, uh, let me know in the comments, but peace.